Now, the Reverend Kate Botley. Good morning, Sunday. BBC Radio 2. You're listening to BBC Radio 2 at 7.41 on a Sunday morning. Now, I'd like to welcome my next guest to Good Morning Sunday, award-winning Birmingham artist Muhammad Ali. His latest production, Was Wasa, is one of the major commissions for the Birmingham 2022 Festival, a six-month-long programme which began in March, which hopes to embrace local culture and generate lasting change and a creative legacy beyond the Commonwealth Games. So, a tour all order, but one that Mohammed no doubt is able to measure up to. Muhammad Ali, welcome to the show. Hi there. Good morning. Uh, so tell me all about this creation. Yeah, I mean, um, this is something I've been working on for quite quite some years now, and it's been kind of cooking in my head for decades. In fact, I've been wanting to get something like this out there, which is, you know, it's very heavy subject matter, which is, you know, aiming to kind of demystify this perhaps misunderstood um, practice, this physical act of prayer, uh, of prostration on the ground, something that perhaps society is familiar with and the sight of it is seen in public spaces, you know, on football pitches even perhaps when, you know, you find, you know, uh, someone scored a goal and they're immediately gone down, going down or, or in the city squares and parks, perhaps you see people prostrating. It's, it's kind of an act we're familiar with but not really understood what, what actually it represents so this theater show this immersive show that i've put in together was just my attempt really to try and to kind of connect people you know get people talking and you know just in the kind of polarized society that we live in it's always my my art is always an attempt to try and build build bridges and connect people better beautiful and tell me about the title what's what's that yes <clears throat> it is it's one of those lovely words, what do they call it? It's onomatopoeia. It's beautiful. Where, yeah. <laughs> so it actually does represent, you know, whispers, right? So waswasa, whisper. Um, the whispers of kind of distraction, the kind of the devilish taunts to kind of pull us away from doing good. Um, so that that's in, it's an Arabic word. Um, and it's something that many Muslims would be familiar with is those kind of uh, temptations to kind of, that kind of evil whispers, if you like to say, you know, go on, just one more, do 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 that thing, don't do that kind of good action. So that this is the the title of it because distractions are something that, whether you're Muslim or not Muslim or or, or someone of no faith, distractions and temptations, uh, and and uh, trying trying that thing that trying to pulls us away from uh, achieving flow state or in regular language uh, being in the zone, that kind of place of focus, we, we're all trying to achieve that, right? And what's what's for me, I felt like as a concept, it's something we're familiar with of like our phones are all a, sen- are a sense of what's what's in fact, technology, the buzzing away in our pockets, you know, we're, we're all trying to achieve that place of focus through sport or music or yoga and all these different practices. And Islamic prayer is no different, you know, five times a day, we, we're trying to almost switch off from the world and achieve that place and was was uh, as i said is something i think is completely you know everyone has their own form of was was uh, in their ear or in their pocket that just tempts them that little notification in their pocket that are just buzzing away you know that irritation mm. And that rhythm, that meditative quality of when you sort of get in the zone of something um and it almost becomes um you don't realize you're doing it so you know I, i'm thinking about the rituals that i take part in, in in my faith and you know before i know it i think oh did did we did, did we say that part of the service that we always say did i did i remember to say that bit of the creed or did i remember to say amen at the end of that prayer but because it's so part of the routine because it's so embedded in me now you almost it, it's a bit like driving your car and you end up at a location you think how on earth did i get here does that rhythmic quality come through for you in your prayer life yeah, yeah, totally. I think I think you can fall into this kind of slumber in a way, even in prayer. You know, when you when you roll out your prayer mat or you're at the mosque, yeah. you know, we're, we're only human, yeah. <clears throat> Whilst we're supposed to be kind of totally in focus through this ritualist act of prayer, you know, you can't help but think of what episode of East EastEnders <laughs> at the moment. You know? you're, you're trying to focus, going, you know, I'm going to worship my Creator here and appreciate, you know, the blessings we have. But you're thinking about, you know, the Netflix series that you watched last night. You know, everything but prayer and focus on God will just stream into your head, yeah. and, and it's. 
When I was a little girl, I remember I used to feel terribly guilty if I'd fallen asleep saying my prayers at night, and I'd wake up in the middle of the night and think, "Oh no, I forgot to sort of end. I forgot to finish it." As if God might be hanging on my every word, waiting for me to say the final amen, so that you know God could get on with what God needed to do that that night or whatever. But um, yes. I also kind of like sometimes that prayer just carries you, and that you can allow yourself to sort of just submit to it and submerge into it. What do you hope people are going to get from? this experience from coming to see the the piece as i said for me there's there's a real big vision here and there's real kind of ambitious kind of uh, aspirations of this project because you know it it really is dealing with some heavy issues here you know about you know how we misunderstand each other right how society the multi-faith multicultural society we we live in actually there's just not enough work that connects us right mm. whilst there, there there is a lot of interfaith programs and lots of programs that are about understanding each other's faith i feel like often they can often be preaching to the converted right yeah. how do we take this this concept these ideas around prayer and spirituality and bring them into almost a, a different realm if you like that that's kind of why, why I'm, I'm, I'm you know it's it's i don't think you're going to see islamic prayer expressed in in this form ever before you would never have seen it kind of i describe it as muslim prayer meets blade runner-esque type environments <laughs> right? that sounds you amazing know? Yeah. Um, so, and if, so, if you had to sum yeah. up what prayer meant to you mm. how how would you describe it what prayer means to me well that's a deep question that is okay is uh, it? What prayer, <laughs> for this prayer time on a sunday morning on radio two what does prayer mean to you um Prayer is is just, oh my gosh. Um, prayer is is submission uh, and focus. Uh, it's about appreciating the kind of uh, the blessings that I have to a supreme being, that, and just valuing what I have really, and 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 humbling myself and saying I'm I'm nobody, I'm nothing. Um, I, I'm and and prayer helps me to kind of uh, deal with the ego that we all kind of struggle with, you know, and submitting on the ground, my head to the ground, and being in that lowest state. Um, physical act of, of of being, you know, you can't get lower than that. Is, is for me is 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 one of the best ways to kind of just you know, lose your ego and 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 submit. Thank you for summing it up so beautifully, uh, and thank you for talking to me this morning, Mohammed. Wassa Wassa is on at the Birmingham Hippodrome as part of the Birmingham 2022 Festival from the 25th of August to the 3rd of September. <laughs> 